Surprise! I'm back. Originally, I was supposed to be out in Chile for, for two, two years. I had about seven months, and now I'm back again thanks to the coronavirus. It's good to be back. We're at a new house. It's kind of weird, but it's really cool. I like it, and I'm excited to, to get working with my dad again. He texted me this morning uh, and asked if I wanted to work on the truck again, and honestly, I kind of forgot that I had the truck. But here it is, and we're gonna take off the, the cover. But first, there's like a bunch of weeds and stuff back there, so I'm about to clean those up. And then and we'll see what happens from there. Let's see this bad boy, shall we? So clean. Yes. And then we got random crap in the in the back. It is what it is. I'm gonna go ask Dad what he asked me to do because I don't really remember. Just received orders from from Pops, and we're gonna be taking out all this. Oh, what the heck? All this stuff and putting it right there. So that's what I want to do. Oh, it's my shot. Ooh, <laughs> airbag go on. <laughs> so we're digging through our boxes to find all of the truck parts that we've ordered in the past. We can't remember what's in these. So this is a live unboxing. And this one was delivered to me in my name, so. Printed circuit with gauges. Instrument Ooh, cluster fleet. That is the, yeah, that's the back panel for your instrument cluster. This thing? Yep. Oh, I remember. Wait, I thought, you didn't you say that this works though? They kind of work. That's the circuit panel for behind the yeah. instrument panel. That's it. It's called an instrument panel? Yeah. Like the dash? The instrument thing. cluster. It's a cluster of instruments. So this is oh, that's, that. Yeah, that's the back side of it because that thing, every time we were taking bulbs oh, yeah, in and out of it, it was cracking uh, and just falling apart. Wasn't this like 60 bucks? It was a lot of money. Yeah, like <laughs> six, 70 plus 60. 70 for that, 60 for that. Well, dang, good thing we found it. Are you worth it? Am I worth it? Sure. Yes. Okay, good call. <laughs> All right, so that's part of it. What we're looking for now is uh, LED bulbs. I bought white LEDs because the blue ones we put in it. Blue? Red. We put red in yours. Yeah, they were red. The red ones didn't work. They didn't work? They worked, they just weren't bright enough. Even at night, they didn't light up the dash I like just, at all. I just asked you if they worked. So don't, yes. Well, they do work. They work. <laughs> But not they well. just not, yeah, they're crappy. Okay. <laughs> so Here's let's get these set aside. That's LED them. Lights. That's them. The white we ones. found them. Sweet. That's what we've been looking for. <laughs> we dug through this whole pile for that, and they were sitting out. Oh, no, that's what we were getting like. dusty. Oh, cool. All right. So there you go. Now you have a project. Cool. Tavish is gonna show you how to put this all together. There's plugs, electrical plugs back there. I can still see. <laughs> There must be a tab or something on it. We have to press. There is. I'm trying. I believe. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I'm pretty sure they're the double-sided one. You have to push from both sides. Yeah. The camera down will help you. 
you had one side out and it was just kind of bound up, so I had to put that side back in a little bit. And then it See the cutest baby in the whole world. Hi. Hi, Grandpa. Hello. Oh my goodness, it's so bright, huh? You're so cute. You're starving clear to death, aren't you? Look at that. Those cheeks. <laughs> mm. All right, so now we're gonna start busting into the, I forgot what it's called, this thing? The dash, it's not the dashboard. He just called it something. I don't remember, but we're gonna get into it. And you gotta unscrew these bad boys. So that's what we're gonna do. All the dials, or whatever they're called, are all like bleached from the sun. Except for, like it's more orange down here and wider up there. I'm just gonna figure this out as I go along. Whoa. Okay. So we don't have a new one of these. So this we are keeping. We're keeping this. We do have a new one of these and these. So that's what we're replacing. But we're gonna open these. Oh, they open. Okay, cool. <laughs> like so. So we're going to need to take out these things. Can you pull? Yep. Put it in like so. Pretty easy. And then you put it in like so again and you twist it. Oh yeah. So you get these guys out by unscrewing these. Just figure that out. And then the big speedometer is gonna be this guy. Whoa, that's cool. Look at this. You know that thing? Yeah. Tells you how many miles you have. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Is this the old one? What old one? The one that was in the truck originally. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can't find Dad's small wrenches, so I'm just gonna use some tweezers. I think they're called pliers. pliers. Let's go. We're going too fast. What's up, dudes? Okay, today we're back on this, the dashboard thingy. While I was taking it apart the last time, I ended up breaking a few pieces, like this. Like this white part just like completely broke because it's like super old plastic. Dad was gonna see if he could try and make like a DIY fix for that, but he could not. So we ended up buying some some of those parts instead. And so today we're gonna open those up and then I'm gonna 
hopefully get the dash all put back together today. That's, that's dope. All right, so we're gonna open it. I don't actually know what he... Yeah, fuel gauge, temperature gauge, ammeter gauge, oil pressure gauge. Oh yeah, here is the old one. The new one. So now I'll show you what I was talking about. You can see it better. So that, this is the busted one. See that white piece right here? It's like destroyed. This one's nice and shiny. And dad wanted me to say that he got the these pieces, the new ones from Bronco Graveyard. And he said that was it was cheaper there than at <clears throat> LMC Truck. It was like 65 at Bronco Graveyard and originally they're like 85 per piece in LMC Truck or something like that. So it was cheaper there. I am going to take out all the old pieces and I'll probably keep these because they're kind of dope, even though they're broken. If you guys want good tunes to listen to when you're working on your trucks and stuff, I recommend Sticky Fingers, but that's just coming from a young whippersnapper like I. I guess we're young whippersnappers could be watching right now, but it's just like kind of chill Australian band. It's really good. And I always listen to them when I'm working on the truck. It's just like kind of my thing. It's like my ritual. Like working on the truck, you gotta listen to Sticky Fingers. Oh, oh crap. We're good. <laughs> Oh, that kind of hurt. Oh. You gotta be organized. See? I got them organized. So I don't make silly mistakes. There it is. Looks pretty good. All right, so I finished everything, and I like came out front to, to the truck, and I was gonna I was looking for Dad, and I was just eating some chips, waiting for him to come out, and then I found these guys. We're gonna we're gonna figure this out ourselves. That's sick. Get it all together, and I'm gonna do it myself. Cause I'm, I'm an independent man. Okay. So, oh, it doesn't look that bad on the camera, but I was trying to wash this thing before I put on the cover for it and it like smeared all the white everywhere. So now it looks kind of ugly. It doesn't look that bad on the camera, I don't think, but it's uglier than I wanted it to be, but it's fine. I'm just letting you guys know so that you don't make the same mistake I did. Okay, we got it all set in. We're gonna see if we can install her in the truck. Let's see if we can get her in. This is gonna be tough. I'm gonna plug in the wires first. This seems easiest. What the freak? Oh, there we go. And now, the speedometer cable, whatever that thing's called. Oh, no way. Is it, is it that easy? Oh, well, it's hecka easy. It better work. 
That was so easy. And that goes like that. That's for sure. Don't remember how. And then that light clips. Oh, hey, check it out. This blue light works. Is that your? Oh, that's your. My high beams. High beams. So. so you turn your lights on. Now push the button on the floor. You should have high high beams. Yeah. And then you turn it off. Yeah. Okay, let's check this light up here. On. Yeah. That looks like high beam. Yeah. That's low beam. Well, Sick. Hey, that works. Okay, cool. Hey, and yeah. Nice. What else? Um, Seat belts. I'm sitting uh, on it. I don't know if that would work or not. But this that doesn't matter. I don't this like should belt. light up too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And what is that? That is the backlight for this. So it'll clip in Purple. to that right there. Um, right there. It looks like it shines. It'll shine into that little prism. Yeah. Okay. Yep, dash screws and radio knob. Oh. There we go. Man, that looks way better. <laughs> Weird when you start putting stuff it together. It looks like a real car instead of like a trash yeah. thing. That's actually crazy. So now we're screwing in the thing, the bezel. this dead <laughs> it looks like a truck again yes yep so Tavish was able to get the dashboard all put back together looks pretty good it's very dirty we still need to clean everything up I appreciated having Tavish's help <clears throat> on the truck this week I was able to get some other stuff done while he was working on this I just gave him a little pointers here and there uh, but to give you an idea of what's coming in the next video check that out we've got the interior gutted we'll go through that process and uh, we'll find out what we're dealing with for floor pans and that sort of thing so be sure and like and subscribe so you don't miss another episode this is Troy with DIY Home and Auto working on Midnight Maroon hashtag Midnight Maroon like subscribe to all the things you guys are awesome I believe in you guys you can do hard things we'll see you guys in the next video